hole in the ground, three feet deep and three feet wide, depending on the size of your pit or the amount of food you like to place in this, in this pit. The next step, very important, you want to light a fire at the base of this pit using kiabi wood. You folks may better know this wood as the skeets. Then we head up to the mountains or the mountain streams to collect knapuhaku, which are rocks. And these rocks are very special because they are forest and to retain heat for long periods of time. Then we go ahead and lay over that with some banana leaves so it doesn't burn or scorch our food. And to prepare the pig, we cut it from top to bottom, thinning out the inside, stuffing more hot rocks into the cavity of the pig to cook it from the inside out. We layer it with ginger or avocado to give it that moist and unique flavor. We then cover it over with some more banana leaves, cover it with some mats, patting it down with dirt and sand, and then we leave it in there six to eight hours, and there you have it, our final product. So family, if you haven't already done so, please get your cameras or video cameras ready, because with your help, on the count of three, we're going to lift or apply this pig. So please help me out, everyone. One, two... two. Three! Oh, yeah. Now they'll be coming around the arena in just a little bit. But let's welcome out our lovely hula maidens to share with us one more number from the Kuriyoka Poi Poi town of Hilo.